Okay, fine. We'll talk about the Cav Scouts. This episode is brought to you by Heather, who wanted to give a shout out to her son, Brandon, who is currently in SF selection for the army. Trying to become a doctor grunt. Anyways, back to the funny hat gang. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cav Scouts are the CrossFit of the United States Army. I don't mean that negatively. I just mean they do a little bit of everything and they're really fucking loud about it. Never will you have to ask the question, Hey, are you a Cav Scout? Because you'll probably hear them yelling, If you're not Cav, you're not shit, before you even have a chance to ask. Which is fine, I still love them. I only love them because they're on my side. Thank God. To understand the Cav Scouts, you have to understand where they come from. Cav being short for cavalry, which is a soldier on horseback, like this. If you don't know, a scout is traditionally a soldier that would sneak ahead of the conventional forces, get eyes on the enemy, and report back with intel. This is where the Cav Scouts originated. And they pay respect to that history by wearing the Stetson and the Spurs. They're also known for drinking their infamous grog, which is apparently Bex and Rip It. I should probably just end the video here. In conclusion, if somebody's crazy enough to drink this shit, don't fuck with them. Okay, no, seriously. So how does a soldier on horseback fit into modern warfare? They don't. So back in the Vietnam War, they would actually kind of function as a mobile infantry. They would literally get flown into a live battle on a helicopter and get dropped off right in the middle of it. There's a great movie on it called We Were Soldiers. You should watch it. Now, somewhere between Vietnam and... And now, somebody made the call that Cav Scouts should just get to do whatever the fuck they want. I know that because they have all the cool shit from other jobs that's consolidated into one job. They get to use all the cool shit the infantry uses, like the 50 cal, the Mark 19, aka a machine gun that shoots fucking grenades. They get their own mortar crews. Oh yeah, and they get their own fucking tanks. But that's not a tank, it's the Bradley fighting vehicle. It looks like a fucking tank to me. Oh yeah, and they get the cool Wiley Coyote suits that the snipers have. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, there's a giant pissing match between the Cav Scout and every other combat MOS. But in particular, the infantry. Now, if you get the infantry and the Cav Scouts on the same battlefield, it just turns into a giant game of who can stack the most bodies the highest. If you've seen Lord of the Rings, it's like the dwarf and the elf competing for who gets to kill the most things. But you have to remember these are scouts. They're supposed to be there first. So there's always a possibility by the time anybody else gets there to help, scouts are just sitting there playing Jenga with the remains they stacked. God damn it. I told you how this is supposed to go. You're the scout. I'm the infantry. You get eyes on them. I stack the body. I tried waiting, but you took too long. Yeah, I'm on foot. Ah, should have got your own tank. Sorry, eh? fighting vehicle. Now, while everybody says that Cav Scouts are annoying, everyone is also secretly, deep down, happy that they are on their side. In conclusion, nobody likes hearing them yell, if you're not Cav, you're not shit. If you're an American, it's annoying. But if you're not an American, the bushes are about to start moving, and a 19-year-old drinking Bex and rip it out of a hat's about to show you that a fighting vehicle is still heavy enough to make you a crunchy. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed my content and would like to buy me a beer about it, there's a link for that right here. The link to my YouTube channel is also there. So until next time, thank you for your service. Quack bang out.